Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will run from September 8th through the 14th. I want to thank you for being here. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, let's get into it. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Let's see how you're coming into the week. Emotional emotions. So something has stirred your emotions. Um, you may be on the fence about something. Uh, definitely straddling the fence. Something has or someone has. There's a, an awakening of your emotion. You don't know if you want to... Well, you do know, but at the same time, it's like, I know, but then I don't know how this will end, where is this going, why am I feeling these emotions is what I'm hearing. It might be in regards to a connection, a person, place, a thing that has passed. And now, past in the sense of, you know, you, you're done with it. It could be a person who has passed over. But past in the sense of, that's in the past. But now, some emotional connection is resurfacing to a, a, a person, place, or thing. In your environment, it's changing. What did I say? Changing your mind. It's like you are at a place of... Well, why do I feel like this? I'm changing my mind about how I feel now. It's crazy. Why am I feeling this way? This is not how I felt yesterday or last week. You're in a place of just really... Um, em so emotions are whimsical, right? They come and they go. Go with the flow. And then you'll get to a place where you have to make a choice or a decision. And in that decision or choice, um, you, you want to make sure that your heart and your mind, your emotions and your logic are at ease, are at rest, and that they align with each other. And then you make your, your um, decision about maybe something that you should be, you are changing your mind about. What's helping you or who's helping you? Religion and spirituality. What did I say? Get, get balanced. Get grounded. There's books you can pick up in regards to how to ground your energy. Exercises, yoga, um, meditation, of course. Uh, pick up a piece of quartz. Hold it in your hand. Close your eyes. Make sure your feet are planted on the ground. Um, breathe deep. Pull it all the way up to your head. Let it release and then do it again. And then release from the bottom. Grounding yourself in your energy. Get into a place of, of just stillness. So that you can really come to terms with something changing. Or your mind changing. Why am I feeling this way? Why am I thinking this way? See look, these two don't match. Or, or it might be off, a sense of where you're off. Um, burn a white candle, blue ca candle for emotional um, stability and clarity. White for blessings and, and cleansing. I do have them at my website. You can purchase them there. I'll put the link in the description box. Or you can just go and find your own a white candle is just information uh how you close the week welcoming the new yeah this is so good um very 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 good what is the new we're gonna start with the end of the week what is the new for the scorpio wow yeah it's like some of you may be at a place of why do i feel this way like I can't believe I'm in love or this is happening like this it's playing out in this manner I can't believe that I found this business partnership this romantic relationship of uh, this job that marries my energy perfectly um, there's a flow of um, 
of something being mutual, hand to hand, exchange. Um, it e it could even be money and uh, the flow of money, um, commerce or e-commerce. It could just be love. You give, they give. It's a give and take. It's it's beautiful. Emotions. How? Huh? Why is Scorpio coming into the week? Maybe emotional. Emotions have been stirred. Wow, the moon. Because you have deep reservation for. You could be liking, loving someone who is so different from you. They see the world different. They experience the world differently from you. You could have repressed the emotions that you have in regards to someone. You could have depressed it. You could have... Uh, you could be lying to yourself. This is about delusion and self-delusion. Uh, you have not been honest about how you feel. Uh, yeah. Wow. The moon is deep. Let's see. Wow. And then you take action. You want to know. You want to know how they feel. What is it? Wow. Wow. Good news may be coming into you too about engagement. You may be getting engaged, moving in together, making a large purchase. What is this? Dude, this is really good. Changing your mind. What is Scorpio changing their mind in regards to? Eight of Swords. About thinking negatively about merging your life with someone else. You did this before, it turned out horribly. You have a deep emotional connection to maybe starting something new, commerce, a business, something like that, or a relationship. You're changing your mind about feeling trapped, stuck, tied to something that you've placed yourself in, that you've merged with. Business, relationship, family. Yeah, you, you come to terms with it. Like, this is not for me i need to be in in your fixed sign scorpio you understand that you need to be somewhere else you make you're making up your mind about your dreams coming to fruition about a close of a cycle you have a business idea that's making you restless where you are um, you have an idea of being more independent flourishing you're changing your mind about where exactly where you are. Religion and spirituality. What okay. What position is that playing? You want to get a little bit more religious. You're getting a more motivation behind religion and spirituality. Maybe about how behind some disappointment. Maybe that some religious group or sect brought to you. Maybe in youth. Uh Ending some cycle, yeah, something that brought you a lot of grief, or something that you do religiously, or some religious upbringing. How you think about something? Some of you, some of us. Uh, this will come up if you you have been taught, you have been learned that. You go to college, you come out of college, you get a job, you build your way up into your career, you eventually, hopefully, retire out of said career, then, you know, you live in retirement. Well, for some of you, you're, you're thinking about your fortune, your independence, your, your, um, your calling is elsewhere, you're coming into change your mind about something that you've learned this is about learning and knowledge okay so at the end of the week we have welcome the new and the two of cups yeah welcome this newness yeah being on your right path the star card really really settling with yourself and saying you know what this is where I'm supposed to be Yes, it's going to be tough. Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to take money. Yes, I may make a mistake. There could be, yeah, you 
failure. This could also be new love and new marriage. Um, that's causing you a lot of anxiety. This also could be business related. But this is where you're supposed to be. This is right path. Let's get you some angel answer cards. This is really good. This is something I'm coming to terms with. Like this is this is what I love. I need to do it because I am breaking down not having or not posing the opportunity for myself. I'm not stepping into the opportunity. What advice do you have about the angel answers angel answer cards for the Scorpio? If you believe, yeah. If you believe you can have whatever it is you want. Reconsider. Yep. No need to worry. One more for the Scorpio. Okay. Helpful people. And listen to your intuition. You know what's best for you. Okay, Scorpio. I hope that this reading gave you a lot of clarity. I hope that you all find um, resolve and with whatever it may be um, that you you find your path if you feel like this reading resonates with you go over to the website book your own reading there make sure you use coupon code 10 off 35 that'll get you ten dollars off any reading 35 dollars or more this also could be geared to love how you were learned early childhood uh, education in regards to love and relationship and marriage and what it looks like and what it's not uh, something could be moving fast but it looks like you're on the right path um, thank you, Scorpio. Take care. Have a really good week.